Ringale's Junior B Lacrosse is brought to you by Booster Juice Highway Number 2 in Bowmanville, just west of the Rickard Complex. Ringale's finally back on their home floor for the first time in almost three years, taking on the Mountaineers in a sparse lineup consisting of just nine runners. But it's these shorthanded Mountaineers causing all kinds of trouble in the early stages. Malcolm Vivian with a good initial stop, but Christian Cliff is first to the rebound. He scores a second in a row. It's 2-0. That's followed by a familiar lacrosse name in Justin Tavares. It gets a clean look at goal, makes it count. 3-0 now. It was 5-0 at the end of the first. Second period sees signs of life from the Green Gales. Adam Smell with some footwork before dishing off to Connor Platt. He'll breach Richie Evans for the first time. It is 5-1. Smelly involved again. His shot is going to hit uh, Evans solidly, and that's one Richie thinks he should have done better on. The lead is now cut to 6-4. to four. The Green Gales hit for five in a row in the period. Jared Smith with nothing but open floor in front of him. He has options but elects to take the shot himself. That pays off his second of the season. It took a bit of doing, but the Green Gales officially dug out of that five-spot hole from the first when Bryce Dennis unloads to make it a tie game at six all. Short-handed, Platt, spin move, no resistance from the blue shirts who allow him lots of time and space to give the Green Gales the lead for the first time. And the reaction from the Mountaineers' captain Alex Russo says it all. This one is slipping away, but not a lost cause. Tavares puts the Mountaineers on top again with his third of the game beating Ethan Harwood, who is now in goal for the Green Gales. An eight-goal second period capped off by a driving effort from Robbie Baxter. He now has three on the season. We're tied again, heading to the final period. Short-handed, Harwood catches Quinn Highland in behind everyone and hits him with a bouncing pass that the captain puts away. Now, Harwood comes up big with the stick and in the goal in that third, making a number of key stops in a very close game. And Caleb French scored his first goal, and I apologize, I completely missed that one. It's late in the game now, 12-11. The Mountaineers with the power play and the extra attacker looking to force overtime, but Nolan Schott picks the pass out of the air, and he will run out the clock. The Green Gales survive and take it by a score of 12-11.